Hi gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a boatload, actually, of first impressions that I'm gonna be using on camera with you today. Just a whole bunch of stuff that I wish I could do a dedicated review for, but I just don't have the time. And I thought it would just be fun to do a get ready with me and kind of tell you what's going on in my life right now because it's really chaotic for being mid-May and having five kids. There's a lot that I'm trying to get done. So today I'm gonna to share that with you guys. start off with my Dior Forever Glow Star Filter. I have mine in the shade zero. I have so much to do today. I wanted to share it with you. My daughter's junior prom and my son's senior prom is today. I originally had planned everything out two months ago. I'd been ahead of the game. So much has transpired in two months. I bought a dress and a suit, which by the way, actually catches me off guard because Kids are not going for tuxedos for prom. I mean, they still do, but not many. They're going for suits. And the suits have become really cool and stylish. They're not like, you know, your dad's typical suit for work or anything like that. They have all kinds of decorations in the print, decorations in the print, styles, print styles, colors, you name it. And my son had spent time looking for a suit that he would like. I guess there's just something about tuxes that isn't speaking to Gen Z. Who knows? I was confused. I was like, I, I thought I told you to look for a tux. <laughs> he goes, I mean, this is what I like. This is what I want to wear. So I was like, oh, that's fine. I guess, you know, whatever makes you happy. I'll go ahead and buy the suit that you like. I'm gonna color correct with my Charlotte Tilbury. Long story short, the dress and the suit that I bought two months in advance are not here. And today is the day of prom, so I am going to very hastily get myself ready so that I can help my kids get ready. Cause I do wanna take some pictures with my babies. They're all growing up way too fast. And heaven forbid they hear this. I have the new Tom Ford Architecture Soft Matte Foundation. I have mine in the shade 3.5 Ivory Rose. I am planning to do a dedicated review for this, but today is not that day. So we're just doing a really quick first impression, which by the way, first impressions, this is beautiful, incredibly modern and sleek. I love the frosted glass. I'll definitely, you know, go into a little more detail in my review video but I don't have the time today. So I'm gonna pump a little bit of this onto my hand. Perfect shade. Oh, it's quite a bit more runny than the shade in Illuminate. Gotta be careful. I'm hoping it doesn't oxidize because 3.5 is my perfect shade. And one of my favorite foundation brushes, this is the Sigma F85 Airbrush Kabuki. As I was saying, my children's prom clothes did not arrive. Oh, I forgot all my jewelry, oops. But, so I started with the dress. I got the dress, I followed the size chart, and on that size chart we went with the size where all of her measurements fell under. That dress arrived in 10 to 12 business days total. It wasn't bad. It was a pretty decent shipping time and it was March. So, you know, I was thinking, well, we're definitely hitting prom season. So I really hope it arrives even though my children's prom, well, that's today, May 11th. So I knew I had plenty of time. Well, I was wrong. Her dress originally arrived in the size that we fitted her for. First impressions on initial application, the foundation looks absolutely beautiful. I like how that looks so far. This is my Dior Forever Skin Color, oh, concealer. <laughs> what is this? Forever Skin Correct Concealer. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. That's how much stress I'm under. As I was saying, her dress originally arrived in the size that we bought on the size chart. And that dress was two sizes too small. Now, I know I busted my butt to 
be cautious in measuring more than once to make sure that I bought her the right size so we wouldn't have any problems. That was not the case. And I originally did not notice that it was shipping international when she and I found the website and we were looking for her dress. I gave her a budget, she picked out a dress that she liked. Well, be cautious buying overseas. Always do your homework. And in hindsight, I will take her to a store next year if she wants to go to prom and let her pick out a dress in a department store. Lesson learned, kicking myself for that one. So I immediately reached out to the company about the dress from that day because I wasn't about to waste any time. And fishy enough, their website said, you can't return anything unless you get approval from the company. So email us and let us know what's happening and we will tell you if you can return it or not. Well, I did and I explained to them the entire situation in great detail, no less, so that they know this is entirely a sizing issue and on their part. Now, it took more than two weeks for that company to get back to me. And I was emailing them the exact same thing, just basically copy pasting into a new email every day for over a week. Hey, I've got an issue. I need to send this back. I need a larger size. Can you just exchange it for a larger size or can you refund me? I'll ship this back and then order this, the new size immediately. Well, when they finally got back to me, they said, well, I can't exchange it for a larger size. I'll have to send it back to them and we're sorry. It's taken so long to get back to you. Yes, you can return this, just buy a new size. However, caveat, you have to cover the shipping costs. And I said, oh, that's fine. I don't mind covering shipping. Just tell me where I need to send it. Give me the return label, no less. Like I will pay for a return label or tell me who and where to send this and I'll go do it myself. Well, that information never came either. I immediately bought the new size thinking, well, they'll respond to me with the information I need to return this dress and I will just ship it out the cheapest one I can, I can find. That did not happen either. They did not get back to me for more weeks and then said, no, you have to cover shipping. And I was like, I know. And I said I would. I'm gonna use my Dior Cushion Lavender Powder to set my under eyes. I explained to them I don't have any problems covering shipping and I already said that I would. I just need to know where. You'd think if somebody wanted their item back in order to refund, they would give me the information where I need to send it. Nah. A lot of language barrier, <laughs> a lot of frustration on my side. And those weeks had gone by waiting for that information and the new dress that I bought my daughter hadn't shipped out. And in that same period of time, I also purchased the suit that my son had picked out. Figured knock out two birds with one, one stone, right? Yep, that was definitely not the case. I'm gonna go ahead and contour my nose really quickly. I'm gonna use my Dolce & Gabbana bronzer. I have mine in the shade 01 Light warm up my face a little bit. I do actually like this bronzer and if the review for my Dolce & Gabbana like full face of one brand isn't already up yet it will be soon. I'm not sure if this one's going up first or if that one will be. So we are now mid-April. I am searching their website you know what is the expected shipping dates for these and their shipping range says you know, 13, up to 13 business days to ship out. And I'm looking at that and I'm looking at my calendar and I'm thinking, well, we're at day 15 for business days. So why haven't my things shipped? I reach out to the company and I tell the company, hey, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and cancel my order. Oh, actually backtrack. I reached out to them first and said, why hasn't my order shipped? No response for a couple days. And <laughs> I am getting used to it by this point that they don't respond. So I send back another email and I explain, I'm tired of waiting for you to respond to me. Cancel my order, please, and refund me. And they say, your items are in transit to our warehouse. We cannot cancel your items. 
We hope that when they arrive to you, you will consider keeping them. And that raised so many red flags for me because I'm already past that point and not about to tolerate it. And it's now pushing the end of April and I'm getting really nervous and really worried. I bought two of the new Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Cheek Tints. I bought mine in the shades 62 and 53. 62 is, which one is this one? Delicate Mauve and 53 is Bold Pink. This one is Bold Pink, which is that baby pink that everyone seems to love. And this one is Delicate Mauve, which seems absolutely beautiful. Let me swatch these for you really quickly. Delicate Mauve. Bold Pink. Little bones in my hand. I don't know which one of these I want to use today. Hmm, the conundrum. We're going with Delicate Mauve. I could have picked it up on the back of my hand. I accidentally wiped it off. I'm actually going to dab a little bit of this on the back of my hand. I'm going to use the back of my sponge to pick it up. Pretty. I didn't set my face, by the way, and this foundation is fully set. All I did was set my under eyes. I want to build that up a little bit. Let me see if I can dab a little bit on my cheek. So, where was I? Oh, that's a lot. The company refused to refund me and refused to cancel my order. So I was kind of in a pickle here. I'm gonna have to buff that one down, oh my goodness. I still didn't get a response for where's the information I need to return the original dress. And I am just really frustrated at this point. I double check online to see were these items out of stock or on back order when I purchased them. It, it said when I clicked on them, in stock. So I looked at the website again, still in stock. They are listed as in stock, not, you know, back ordered or anything like that. So the email that said these are in transit to our warehouse took me off guard. And I'm thinking to myself, why are they in transit? Why didn't you disclose that they are not in stock ready to be shipped? I wouldn't have ordered any other new clothes from them if that were the case, because it wouldn't have been worth the risk. They didn't respond to me again, so I opened up a dispute through PayPal. I gave them a couple days to respond. I'm trying to be cooperative here because it's a lot of money and I'm also not trying to spend extra amounts of money. Hindsight's 2020. should have just done it. This side looks absolutely stunning. This side's a little overdone, but they blended out so smooth. I did use a little too much on my right cheek and it's still blended out amazing with my sponge, so I'm not mad. This one is the one I'm most excited for. This is the Surratt Artistique Liquid Highlighter. I bought mine in the shade Frufru. It's the pink iridescent one, which kind of comes off as a little bit purpley. I love Surratt, and I'm really hoping this liquid highlighter, the classic Surratt packaging, is a winner. Haven't used it or anything yet. I've been a good girl. I really wanted to. I guess you just keep spinning it until you get a little bit on that sponge. Did I go the wrong way? I feel like I should have elevator music playing for this because I'm getting nothing any day now. On first use, twist the bottom of the tube several times until you see the liquid highlighter emerge from the sponge applicator. So I've been doing that. Oh gosh, that took forever. Okay. Look how beautiful. Ooh. I'm not big on liquid highlighters. It took a lot for me to purchase even the Lisa Eldridge one. I'm very hopeful with this. And I've been like on the fence about the Westman Atelier, really wanting to buy it, but also not at the same time. This one, I ended up buying the moment it launched. So something's iffy with me. I'm just odd. I won't be putting it directly onto my skin. I will use it with my sponge. Okay, let me try picking up a little bit more because that wasn't much. 
<laughs> oh, that's pretty. Oh, I am a fan of this one. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, let's see how this wears. That's the real test. So, the weekend prior to prom, I demanded a refund and a cancellation one more time. And it got ignored. I went ahead and I believe this was Saturday night? Saturday night, one week prior to prom because I thought, okay, I'd get done with work and then take my children shopping for prom. Saturday night came around. I opened a dispute with PayPal, sent them all of my emails, screenshots, pictures of my daughter not fitting into the dress with the correct size that we bought based off of their size chart. And within hours, I kid you not, within hours of sending that dispute, I get an email back. Well, actually, I, not an email. I get a message through PayPal from the company apologizing, telling me they're sorry and a shipping notification and asking how they can make it right and if I would be willing to keep the new dress. Well, obviously not. I want to wash my hands of this company and be done amazing liquid highlighter and I was holding off on buying the nude toned highlighter so I might actually buy that one. The Dior Rosy Glow highlighter bought mine in the pink lilac shade 063. I've been loving purples lately especially for spring. This is the one that's quite the scent. This is the one and only Dior blush I have so I have high hopes I'm gonna use my Kristen Dominique Sigma brush. I'm actually just going to gently layer this over that mauve blush. Not that I think I'll actually see a purple undertone, but kind of just to set that in the highlight. And naturally I got that notification while I was at work, so nothing was gonna happen for at least a little while. And this blush set that blush and highlight perfectly. It looks amazing. I like it, okay. And it didn't tone down my highlight too much. For cheek product, first impressions, I'd say these are a solid win, but honestly, the Surratt highlight's probably my favorite so far. I'm gonna use my Sigma primer. Which one is this one, Persuade? I think this one's Persuade. I went ahead and tight-lined really quickly. This is my Pat McGrath pencil. I blame Alicia Archer for both of these because I didn't originally want them, I didn't originally buy them. Her reels keep popping up for me and I keep watching them every time because I'm like, maybe I want them, maybe I don't want them. They were still in stock. I went ahead and bought them. This is 135 Hina Taori and this is 130 Suyazori. I'm gonna use 135 Hina Taori today. I'm not gonna use 130, but I do wanna show you what it looks like. And I think it is now out of stock on Selfridges. The look that Alicia did with this one is just marvelous. So I couldn't help myself. When I saw it in stock, I decided, okay, I guess I'll go ahead and buy it. But for today, I'm gonna use 135. This one, I just looked this morning before filming this, May 11th. It is still in stock on Selfridges. I already had the purple mauve palette, but that one's out of stock. I'm gonna take a Sonia G S3 brush and I'm gonna pick up this incredibly beautiful dusty blue shade. I'm gonna start by placing that all through the crease, all over. This is a blue shade that I just, I'm smitten with. I don't know why I originally did not want this palette, but oh well. So naturally, I am not going to keep these prom clothes that still have not arrived, even well after shipping. They haven't even landed in the US. You could probably guess where they came from. Ooh, I would have never purchased it if I had known, or done my due diligence, I should say. So this week, I took my daughter and my son, both to Macy's, to look for a dress. 
So first I went to Nordstrom. Nordstrom, because I have points there, I shop there a little bit more often, you know, makeup and whatnot, and my daughter could not find anything in her size. And it, and it takes a lot for her to find something she's really comfortable with. So I wasn't going to force it. I took her first. I really needed the time with her so that she could go through whatever she wanted to feel good. My son, quite a bit easier to shop for. So at Nordstrom, we didn't find anything. And I said, hey, Yuna, how about we go ahead over to Macy's and see what they've got? No, Mom, Macy's is an old lady store. <laughs> and I was like, kind of caught off guard. I'm sorry, what? I guess Gen Z wants nothing to do with Macy's. I don't know. The sales associate at Nordstrom said, I direct people to to Express every time they can't find a formal dress here. And I was like, Express? I don't ever recall Express having formal wear. And I use Express. So like, I'm thinking, you're crazy. There's none, there's not gonna be anything Express. I'm gonna take that same blue shade on my Sonia G Soft Definer. Bring that all around my lower lash line. I humored her though. I took my daughter to Express because after what she said about Macy's, I was thinking, well, I want my daughter to be comfortable. I'm not gonna force her to go somewhere she doesn't wanna go, but I'll save it for a last resort. I'll just keep it in my back pocket. And as we are walking through Express and I'm trying to be optimistic, the sales associates look at us and do not approach us, do not even acknowledge our being, just keep on pretending to do whatever they want to do that keeps them busy or makes them look like they're busy. And the store is not busy by any means. We went on a Thursday around two o'clock in the afternoon. It was not busy. I'm going to take a Sonya G Builder Pro and pick up this very beautiful taupey brown shade. I'm going to pack that into the outer corner. I'm not sure what was up with these sales associates, but I also couldn't care less, you know, because it's not like it was an enormous department store that I couldn't find my way around, but do better. If you can tell that a mother and daughter are in there shopping and, you know, kind of like really look like they're in need and need some assistance, do better. Don't ignore them. Shame on you. That aside, I already kind of knew I wasn't going to find what I was looking for. So I wasn't too worried about it. And we step outside the store and to our left, like looking left, you can see Macy's. And I turn to my daughter and I go, hey, Yuna, can you please just humor me and go into Macy's for me? And let's just see what's the worst that's gonna happen. You don't find a dress and we have to go find another department store. She says, okay, because she's starting to feel pretty defeated at this point too. And I don't want her to leave this mall without finding her dress. I'm gonna pick up that same shade on our Clean Refer 03 brush and sweep that along my lower lash line. So the second we enter Macy's, and I, I am so happy that we did. The second we entered Macy's, we were in the women's formal wear section. For as far as the eye could see, you could see prom dresses and a lot of them and an entire section of on sale prom dresses. And I was thinking, oh, I guess the majority of prom season's over for most of the schools in this area. And my daughter just felt a, a bit of relief because she just got straight to work. And I started looking through dresses too, making sure that I could find more options in her size in case she couldn't find what she really wanted. Now I'm gonna use a Sonya G S2 and I'm gonna pick up this incredibly beautiful bronze gold shade and sweep this across my lid. So we pick out about six dresses on the first go, first go. And we go to the dressing room and the dressing room, which by the way, I took my son the very next day, the men's dressing room at this Macy's was 10 times nicer than the female one. That was just like, <laughs> wow. Okay. So we're in here. She's trying on all these dresses. She's starting to feel like, you know, this is difficult because I don't like this one for this reason, or I don't like this one for that reason. And she's getting nervous, sizes, you know, all that. We go back out there, we pick out a few more dresses. And the very last one we pick out is actually the one that I liked. I thought, oh, this is really pretty. It's black. 
It's got sparkle to it just like she wanted. Not the exact same type of sparkle she was looking for, but it's on it. And I go, hey, can you just try it on for me? Just, just humor me one more time. Let's just try it on. And she just kind of nods begrudgingly. Okay, mom. I'm gonna go back into that taupe shade with this Builder Pro brush and just kind of bring back that shade on the outer corner. I gotta hurry this up because she's home. Now I'm gonna take this incredibly beautiful marbled shade on a rougher 12 brush. Oh my gosh, this thing is so pretty. Let me swatch this on my finger. Oh, it's like a topper, okay. So she tries on this last batch of dresses and she has a couple options in mind that she does like. And then she tries on the very last one, which is the one that I asked her to try on for me. And she's iffy about it. And I'm caught off guard because she looked incredible. Absolutely sensational. It was the most flattering dress on her. Covered the most so she wasn't so uncomfortable. Not that I feel like she needs to stay. That's not a thing for me, but it is for her. She is starting to just kind of look at herself in the mirror and realize I really kind of do like this dress. I wonder if we can alter it here and make it perfect because it would be a little more perfect if I could alter it. And I get to thinking, well, let me call your great grandmother and see if she can do that. Spoiler alert, she can do that. And she did. She ended up picking out the, the dress that I thought would be the most amazing dress on her. And I'm so glad because she feels so much more confident wearing it. Doesn't feel like she's super exposed. Sorry for my phone, I've been waiting for messages. I'm gonna use this Sony G Flat Definer to kind of highlight my brow bone. I'm gonna use that original S3 brush to just kind of gently go around. No additional product. Blend out these edges. So she got that dress, she looks amazing in it. She got it altered, I felt so much better, and we got it on sale. Because that other one is still in transit and I still don't have a refund for the original. I finished my eyes with the Sailor Moon ColourPop Gel Liner. Uh, this is in the shade Crystal Tokyo. And I'm starting to really dislike lashes because I can never seem to get the corner on the inside to stay down and for the glue to dry clear. Like, I don't know what else to do to make the band look just black and invisible against my lashes. I'm getting really frustrated. Where did I leave off? My son, yes, my senior. I took my senior to Macy's the next day. It took three outfits total for him to find a suit that he liked. This is my hourglass number one. Three outfits and he found what he wanted and it was on clearance his suit cost $99 that was it and I had a $40 off coupon so that saved me so much money I got his suit and his shirt I want to say close to just under $100 this is my Dior 220 beige couture velvet lipstick I love this I need a nude for this look Ooh, let's lock this in place because I gotta go. Ooh. My little fan died on me. Mm. I think this turned out beautiful. I'm so excited. Okay, now I gotta go get my daughter ready. She probably won't let me film her. Oh well. <laughs> I can't even remember when I was a senior going to prom what I did for my makeup. She just wants a skin tint a little blush, a little gloss, that's all she wants. Okay, I'm gonna make her happy, I'm gonna go do that. I even made her a set of nails. She's super excited for it. I've never done fringe tips before, I did that for her. So that's everything. That is quite a bit of the chaos going on in my life. My, my son is a senior, he's graduating in just two weeks. I don't even know where the time has gone. My four year old is learning to spell. He knows just about everything about space that you can possibly think of at the age of four. My youngest, he's five months old. He's trying to learn how to crawl and he's only five months old. My daughter is a junior getting ready for senior year. I just, and I've got a 20 year old. I don't know where the time has gone. All the mom emotions are starting to flood in. I need to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. A lot of first impressions in this. Side note, I liked all of them. I liked all of them. Well, not a first impression, definitely a second impressions, but 
I don't really like it that much. I'll keep trying it. This was like the only one I didn't really like, so. And I am sorry for the chaos that's going on in the background in my house. My life is chaotic, what can I say? Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Everything on my face is linked down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. Do something for yourself today because you are worth it.